So the goal in this lesson is to review frame by frame animation and how to make an object or that that doesn't move a stationary object. So we're going to make a tree um, that has an apple falling from the tree. And so we're going to just start off making a simple tree. And I mean, really simple. I know you can make a better tree but we're just trying to quick get a demonstration done. And you can pause the video when you need to, but go ahead and build your tree. And I'm gonna keep going. So I want this layer not to say layer, I want it to be tree. So I'm gonna give it a name up here called tree. And then as soon as I type that in, it updates. So you see it here and you see it on the right hand side. So in two different places. I wanna also have an apple so I'm going to add a new layer for the apple because the tree is not going to move. The apple will be moving. So because there's two different things happening, the apple needs to go on its own layer. And of course, I would want to name this layer apple fruit. If you're going to do an orange or whatever, it doesn't matter to me. So to, to draw my apple, I need to first click on the frame. And then again, I'm going to just make a real simple apple right here. So the apple is kind of behind the tree and I want the apple to be in front of the tree. So to change the apple to be in front of the tree, all I do is drag this layer on top and I can, I can move these layers around all I want to. So the apple sh should be on the top, the tree should be on the bottom. So in this next step, I'm going to just animate the apple to fall to the ground. The tree is going to disappear, but that's okay. We'll get it back later. So to, make the apple fall we're going to click on this keyframe this solid green dot i'm going to copy it click on the next available frame paste it and then i'm going to use this cursor to drag it down a little bit and then i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to copy add a frame paste it move it down a little bit copy add a frame paste it move it down and then keep animating your apple until it falls to the ground. And I'm just gonna take a couple more steps here. If I play it, the tree disappears, but the apple does fall from the tree. So that's okay. I want to get the tree back, but I don't want to have to copy and paste this tree on every single frame. So I accidentally added a frame here. I'm going to go ahead and hit delete on my keyboard to get rid of it. What I'm interested in doing is making this tree extend. And if I hover over this keyframe, you can see it turns yellow. And that's a good sign because I want to click and hold my button down on the mouse, my left button down on the mouse and drag. Mine, I use seven frames. You might have used 10, you might have used 20. I don't know how many frames you used. I used seven, so I want my tree to last those seven frames as well. So when I was dragging, I dragged out to the edge of the last one. Now if I hit play, the tree stays there because there's no animation. It's all, it's like one green dot and then it's white. But then the apple falls because on every single frame, there is a brand new keyframe. This is how you animate in Wick Editor. This is called the frame by frame technique. And one more step, I'm interested in showing you how to save it. So before I save it, if I don't put anything in here, all of my projects are gonna be saved as my project and then it has a date, which gets confusing. So I'd rather put a name in here. So I'm gonna click on project and type in tree or apple tree. Give it some kind of name so that I can hit save and you can see it, it saves as tree and then it adds a WICK on the end. That means that I can go ahead and open this file up in Wake Editor. But I also want to export it. And right now we don't have any sound or anything. It's not interactive. So we're going to save it as a GIF. And I have two different files. The files, this one will open up in Wick. I have to have Wick Editor open to use it. And this one is one that shows the movie. I can send this one in an email. I can send it in a text or anything like that. That's a flattened version. I could put it as in my socials, whatever I want to do. And that's saving in frame by 